What's up guys? Welcome to day four of our 14 day trip through Italy. Today is our second day in Florence. Currently on my way to get some coffee. The girls are still asleep. Hopefully I don't get lost. I'm not really gonna get lost. That's a bad idea. Ah, stuck. Whew. Sometimes skateboarding is exhausting. I really love these skateboarding lanes that they have here. Clearly, just for skateboarding. With 78 durometer Richter cloud wheels, you would not be able to skate here with regular wheels, I promise you. <sighs> but we did get to the cafe. We made it. And I'm heading back to the telly, so husband of the year right now. Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Back to the bike ways, I guess, in the heat. Like I said, guys, walking is highly overrated. Check this distance I'm covering out. Free bridge stands over, and I'll be back to the hotel. Thank God for the bike lanes. Room service! Got you a coffee. I kind of spilled some of it, but I think there's some left. Yo, what's up guys? First thing we're gonna do today is go to the Museum Academia and check out the original Statue of David. There's a long line, there's probably always a long line, and it's extremely hot, so do yourself a favor. You're on vacation, walk a little bit past the entrance, go to door 51, right there, and buy yourself the fast pass and skip the line. Way worth it. And just like that, it's only 16 euros to skip the line. I don't know why anyone would wait in the line. It's ridiculous. Luna, are you glad we're not waiting in line? I'm so glad we're gonna be inside for the hardest part of the day. Are you happy to go see the Statue of David? I want to see his butt. Why? Wow, there's my eyes. It's not air conditioned in the museum. It's a lot cooler than waiting outside in the sun, though. Yo, why they gotta do that to my mans? It's not that hot in here. This spot has to be air conditioned because of instruments. You hate instruments. Isn't that a violin? It's like a cello or a bass. It's a cello, yeah? Yeah. When your wife's a musician and you aren't, that counts as a win. Wow, this is from 1690. This is a large viola. Legit 1716 Stradivari. I don't know why I want to say Stradivarius. Maybe that's just how we say it in America. Wow. What do you guys think this is worth? All right, lay it on me, you hurdy gurdy expert. I'm not an expert, but okay, this is it complete. So you see the knob? Yes, the a knob has been the, found. So that knob turns that wheel that's under the cover which makes the strings vibrate. So that's like the bow. Yes, and then you have the keys to push down to make certain notes. Kind of like a flute. A piano. Or a piano, or a saxophone, or any other instrument with keys. This is a pair of hurdy-gurdies from 1775. I just love saying that. Modern pianos, hammer. Guess what's behind me, guys? Wow. It's the Statue of David. Soak it in. Let's get closer, though. So these unfinished sculptures are called the prisoners. Since they have no hands and feet, it's because they're trapped inside of rocks, and they are trying to get out of it. Prisoners, I guess. They look like unfinished sculptures to me. Look how perfect it is. Alright 
guys. It's pretty crazy, but the original statue of David. I think this thing's about 20 feet tall, six meters, six and a half meters. It's giant. I don't think it's quite two stories tall, but it is giant. Don't worry, YouTube. I got all angles covered for you. Michelangelo did this and he was 26. Your boy got veins, right? Twinsies! This room's a total bust. What are you learning? Remember the, the Lego Brickumentary, Dad? That's what this whole bottom part is. It's the beginning of it. The Genesis? Oh, it is. What about this one? Let's see if there's one specifically about the museum. Though. Gift shops are the bane of my existence. I'm gonna sit down. Alright guys, that was the Museum of Academia. I hope you guys enjoyed the Statue of David. We're super hungry now, so we are gonna go find some food. I think we're gonna try and find some really, really good pizza. Surprise. You want pizza? Yeah! And then gelato? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm hot. All right, guys, we are currently on our way to Grom Gelato. Heard it's one of the best gelato spots in Florence, recommended by a good friend of ours who lived here for a while. So we were gonna get some pizza, but the pizza place that we wanna go to, the Yellow Bar, which is also highly recommended, doesn't open till 6.15. So we're gonna kill some time, walk around gelato, and see whatever this thing is. Look at this building over here. Looks super important. So I figured out what this amazing building in front of us is. It's the Piazza del Duomo, or De Duomo. I think you can go to the top. Looks like a lot of stairs. There's no elevators in a building that old, I doubt it. But it's really hot right now, so we might not do that till later. Maybe that's like a golden hour activity. Let's go, slow pokes! This is quite magnificent, guys. Check out the Duomo. Bam! How do people even build stuff like this, yo? Yo, words cannot describe how magnificent this is. Hey, what's up guys? We finally found Grom Gelato. It's not that far from uh, the Piazza del Duomo. Sorry for the bells, it is what it is. We're gonna go get some gelato. Okay. Luna, I don't know if it's supposed to be that big, dude. Cheers, guys. We finally got that Grom Gelato. I got a biscotti crema. I think the dude hooked Luna up crazy because he saw I was filming and he asked me, are you television? And I said, you too. How are we going to eat pizza after that? Yo, we made it to the Yellow Bar Pizzeria spot. Check it out. You can tell because they got yellow bars. Also, because it says Yellow Bar, which is kind of obvious. But let's go get some food. They literally just opened four minutes ago. We might be the first customer. All right, so apparently in Italy, doors open means a different thing than it means in the US. So they're not gonna be open for 24 more minutes, but we're gonna wait and we're gonna get some delicious pizza. Hi guys. <laughs> Our friends told us we have to come here. They said best pizza in Florence. He's making now ravioli. Wow. Ravioli, ricotta, and cheese inside. Mm. Pizza showed up, guys. It looks amazing. We got a margarita. And we also have some ricotta spinach stuffed ravioli and a whole lot of parmesan. Real parmesan, not that fake stuff. I'm actually cutting my pizza. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm already chowing down. <laughs> First bite, yellow bar margarita. All the cheese came off with that bite. <laughs> but I don't know if that's the pizza's fault. I think this is how they make it here. Hey dad, we're supposed to cut it with silverware here. I will never eat pizza with silverware. If you ever see me eat pizza 
with a fork and knife. I've been cloned and they've replaced me. Much better. Second time around, the cheese did not come out with the first bite. What do you think about the pizza? The crust is really good. It's also not soggy. The crust is like sweet. I don't know how to explain it. Super crispy. Really good. It's a taste of heaven in my mouth. So delicious, it just tastes like heaven. <laughs> Let's get into this ravioli now. Here's the ravioli, guys. Time to get at it. Look at my ravioli. I don't know which hand I'm supposed to hold the knife or the fork in. It's a problem of being left handed. You're automatically ambidextrous. He's living in the right hand world. Right hand fork, left hand fork. I don't know. Actually, left hand. I think left hand knife. That's the way to go because. <laughs> Eat it. Yo, that's so fresh. I feel like they picked the spinach like five minutes before we walked in. A lot of times, especially with spinach, it gets just totally blasted in the meal, but it's not overcooked. It's very fresh. It wasn't a lie, that was some of the best pizza that I've had this entire trip, and definitely the best pizza in Florence. That crust was amazing. Someone who's a local was saying it's like ancient grain. It's like very light crust, thin, not heavy at all, which is great because a lot of places here have the super thick focaccia style crust. It's like focaccia bread with a little thin slice on top. No bueno. Rosa wants a leather jacket. Or Try it on. something like this. If you want to be good, I have. But the leather, when you wear it, stretch with the time. Never buy it loose. The day is wrapping up, but we're not done yet. Stay tuned. We're actually heading to the Porcelana, which is a pig fountain, and you can put a coin in its mouth or something. I'm trying not to get killed out here for you guys, YouTube. Thank you for saving my life yet again. Again. Rosa's saved my life many times in these crazy Italian streets. Driving in these streets is mad. I almost feel like cars aren't allowed on the streets. That's why there's so many people in the street. But no, they're definitely allowed and they come in. <laughs> I'm just gonna start saying it out loud and never knew this. Car! It's not funny. Car! <laughs> there's no more. There was one here. We're going this way. Someone's gotta film the videos, right? Then you gotta catch up after that. Wait, is this where the performers were? We you mean so we're dumb. standing right next to it? Yeah, I'm so dumb. I can't believe us. All right, we found the pig. It's right there. But the funny thing was, we were here last night watching a group of musicians that I think was playing a pre-recorded tape right there. And we didn't even realize this was right here. We're so stupid. Go ahead, sweetie. Hold it in there. And then you got it. Did it go in? No. Try again. There you there go. There you go. Right, here we go, good luck. It didn't go in. Okay guys, we got a problem. It's 9.13 and we've only had gelato one time today. That's out of control. By 9.13 we should have had three to four gelato. We are slipping. It's too hot in there. Too hot to get ice cream? In there. We're gonna go that way because we can and because we never have. Should we go that way or should we go that way? So these are the basic one euro cannolis. And then right here we got cannoli al cafe. It looks like it has coffee beans in it. Cannoli pistachio. And then we got cannoli suliano, which I think is cheese cream with chocolate chips. If you've ever heard anybody in social media talk about pillar content, they're probably talking about that right there. This is pillar content. I don't know why, but I want Nando's right now. I want Nando's right now. Do they have Nando's in Italy? I'm about to Google that. If we can get Uber Eat Nando's to our hotel room, I'm gonna be so happy. Did I mention that I love Florence? If not, that clears it up. I made a song up just now. It goes like this. Cruising in Florence with no specific place to go. We have nowhere to go. Except a taxi on the way to the hotel. So that Luna can watch cartoons in Italian. Or go on the iPad and watch cartoons in American. No. She means English. Yeah, I mean English. But she consumed six gigs of data last night on Netflix, so that's not happening. See what happens when you walk around? You find cool stuff like this. Some kind of fort or something. Not too sure. Palazzo Pitti. Right there. With these big old stones. We gotta get away much further to get a good image of this.
I do not know why the stones look like this in Florence in the roadway. I'm assuming maybe for grip they pockmarked them. Legit looking like Killmonger skin though. The inverse. Hi. Oh my god, we found a drinking fountain. In Florence, there's just not a lot of drinking fountains. Places won't give you tap water. It's kind of like a hustle. They're trying to sell you bottled water all day. But we found drinking fountain, which is rare. It's like a zebra on Mars to find a drinking fountain over here. So we are loading up on water and we couldn't be more excited. I know it sounds weird. I'm excited for a water fountain, but if you were here and it's 93 degrees and everyone's trying to charge you three euro for a water you know what I'm feeling right now and even though it's 9 30 at night it's okay that your kid does that do you feel better so behind me all the way around that's Palazzo Pitti and thanks to my editor who is so smart that he Wikipedia it and put some information right here for you guys so you guys can learn and then I'll watch the video and I'll learn because it's for real I didn't do no research so August in Italy apparently about 9 33 that's the best time of the day Rosa how does this feel right now Amazing. Wow, 93 degrees, guys. It's so hot, I felt like I was back in Kansas. These stones right here on the backside of the Palazzo Pitti are enormous. I mean, they're not like Trilithon level enormous. Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. They're fairly enormous. Specifically, this last stone right here. Look how long this stone is right here. One piece, one piece, one piece, one piece. Boom, all the way to there. That is at least eight feet or 10 feet long. By, let's see how thick they are. Wow, guys. So that's like a four foot by two and a half foot by 10 foot cube of stone. What do you think that weighs? Everywhere you go, every corner you turn, there is just amazing architecture. Just like, yo, what is this behind me? Please put a <laughs> sign. I don't even know. Just like, if I had to stop to find out what every single thing was, I'd be like two days back in time. By the way, this is a standard sidewalk in Florence. I don't know if it's like Italy standard, but look how wide this is. One foot, two foot, three and a half foot. Feet and I have size seven and a half shoes. You guys think I should cop one of these? The all yellow Reezy resells Vespa. Just roll up on meetups like beep beep. Rosa would steal it from me, that's the problem. Oh yeah. Again, a perfect example of just walking around in Florence and just seeing amazing architecture. Look at this building-ish thing with stairs and massive arches and crazy big wooden doors. Look, that door is still there. Look at that, yo, like. This, I feel like this is keeping out some bad people at some point. I don't even know what this is, but it is dope. So we're only low-key lost, and by low-key lost, I mean I got Google Maps. If I wanted to pull it out, I could, but what fun would that be, okay? Okay. Massive. Look at this massive wall structure over there. That was keeping some people out for sure. Woo! Just made it back to the hotel. Check these guys out. These guys are awesome. Thank you. Hi, Ciao. Hi. We're about to head up to the hotel and drink some cheap wine. Maybe have a good time. I don't know. But if you guys like this video, I know you guys are going to love tomorrow's video, which is another half day in Florence, followed by a trip to Sorrento with a quick pit stop in Naples to get some amazing pizza. If that's your thing, tune in for tomorrow's video. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay in a good vibe. Peace.